Hi, I'm Matt Ehrman, and welcome to Exposure. Uh, we're on the... Pfft, that was terrible. Uh, hi, I'm Matt Ehrman, and welcome to Exposure. We're on the set of... Uh, what the hell is it called? Whiskey Beats. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Man, all right. <clears throat> hi, I'm Matt Ehrman, and uh, welcome to Exposure. You're on the set of Whiskey Neat, which is a 48-hour film challenge that we're doing for the Mommy Film Festival. And so today we are trying to cram all of our filming into about three or four hours uh, to make about a three to four minute movie. Uh, this is Levi and Lilacs. It was established in 2018, but it's a real uh, historic building, historic markers, probably one of the older buildings in Maumee. Uh, I'm actually not a fan of doing 48 hour film challenges. This is the first one I ever uh, probably did. Probably the first then the only one I'll ever do. Uh, there's another wrong with them. I think they're great, but it's everything that I don't believe in in filmmaking, like taking your time, uh, using your patience, and uh, everything. This is quite the opposite of that. So basically, I'm kind of an odd filmmaker as it is, so I kind of fit right into this, and I'll explain why. Uh, most filmmakers go out, they'll, they'll write their script, um, you know, they'll find their actors, they'll find their locations, they'll make their movie. I do it the opposite way, I get all my locations first, I find my talent, and then I write a script around what I have to work with. So I'm very used to doing that, and that is exactly what we had to do for this. Within 48 hours, have a concept, uh, write a script, uh, get your wardrobe, your talent, and then shoot it, edit it, post-production, soundtrack, and deliver it all within 48 hours. So by Sunday night at 8 o'clock or whatever, we have to be completely done with this which is really fast for a film. And so that was probably the biggest thing. And I think what we had to do was just use what we had. And we basically sat around at the dinner last night uh, out at the restaurant in Maumee and, uh, and came up with the idea for the script and went from there. Uh, Virginia Stein wrote the script. And uh, I think it was, it was me and Keith and Kevin that kind of sat around with Virginia coming up with the concepts, but she uh, ultimately wrote uh, the dialogue and the background story. But basically, we th what we was thinking though is mixing uh, uh, 2020 with 1920, somehow. And uh, we got given a key as our main prop, and a line of dialogue is supposed to be, what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, oh, and on top of that, really, you drew, you drew your genre out of a hat, you know, so, and we got picked with horror. The plot is about a couple who is having problems and a mysterious lady comes along and tests the husband uh, to see if he would cheat on his wife. And that's pretty much the plot of the movie. My name is Anne Giovanna and I am playing Azura. She is this 1920s seductress lady who comes out of nowhere and just like, tears things apart. This is where I have fun. I love the chaos of it all. It's nobody knows what they're doing, nobody knows what's going on, but we're just doing it. And that's the fun part about it. I love ordered chaos. <laughs> I've been acting since I was in the sixth grade. So probably when I was around 12 and I'm 22 now, so about 10 years. Um, film I've only been doing for about five years, I want to say. I love becoming a different person and seeing who I could be if I really wanted to be that person. Um, I can have any sort of personality, especially in this short film specifically, I'm not a seductress at all. In fact, I'm kind of awkward and weird, <laughs> but I am actually trying to be really smooth and really enchanting, and that's a new thing for me, so I'm learning from myself through this experience. Uh, my name is Kevin Smith. I play Brad on Whiskey Neat. He's married, uh, but he's not happy about it and uh, he's having a little bit of a tiff with his significant. She storms off and I find uh, the eye of an attractive lady and I'm wondering where that's gonna go. Well, she hands me a key, which looks like any other key, um, but mysteriously it changes and so does the scene. And I'm wondering what is going on? Well, I've been doing community theater since uh, 2012. Started doing uh, a little bit of film with uh, the same cameraman, uh, Matt Ehrman, um, back in, I believe, 2015 uh, on a film called Emily's Story. And I've been in a few since. I think this is my fourth. You know, you, you see some new people to work with, although I have uh, worked with Angie one other time, but not directly. Um, she was in uh, a different part of the, the first film that I was in, Emily's Story. Um, but yeah, when I 
first got here, it's uh, it's a little little awkward. You're just kind of uh, you know everybody's tiptoeing around and it's all quiet and everybody you know works in their own way, so you don't want to disturb that. But uh, you do want to strike up a little bit of a conversation, which you know, theater is a great way to do it. And so once we started talking about theater, we we got uh, got really rolling and uh, got a little bit of the chemistry going. This is my first time behind the bar. Uh, I've spent some time on the other side of the bar, but uh, um, it, it's funny. You know, I, I was a big fan of Cheers when I was a kid, so maybe I picked up a little bit from uh, from Woody and, and and whatnot, the folks that work there, and Sam. Um, it's just been a, it's a unique experience, and it gives me a chance to get outside of what I normally do on a daily basis. I started in, uh, really in, on the stage. I helped a lot with uh, one of the local high schools uh, as, a, as a dad, and then got back into acting and uh, done some theater, done some camera work like this, and uh, it's all very, uh, very exciting. It's fun, it's a great way to spend some time. Well, I started my business, uh, Capture One Studios, in 2013, uh, and I started making films about a year later uh, as a way to actually help advertise. That was kind of the motivation behind making films. Uh, but when we started making short films, we started getting exposure very quickly, picked up some fan base, and that really helped out a lot with advertising. So that was kind of like the motivation behind doing it all. Uh, what I found out is this wonderful world of, of filmmaking is, is, is almost as hard as raising a kid. It's, it's incredibly tough, especially in Northwest Ohio, because you do not have the dynamic locations that you have like in Los Angeles. You know, we don't have a Golden Gate Bridge here. You know, we don't have these Western sunsets. Um, to me, the easier part is finding the talent, because there's just a, a plethora. Toledo is surprisingly a really good place to get into film. You can talk to anybody, and all of a sudden you'll know everybody because the community is so tight knit. Like I know people here who I didn't know knew each other, and I didn't know I knew this person from before. And it's everything's interconnected, and it's actually really easy to make those connections and really step out of your comfort zone. Like you'll learn everything you need to learn just right here in Toledo.